Is that it? That's it! Oh my god! Whoa. Haha, <laughs> he just... <gasps> oh, that's so precious. Mario's adventure is over. Mario, the princess, Yoshi, and his friends are going to take a vacation. And it's very nice because I actually have Yoshi with me. So, waiting for outside the castle. Aw, the fireworks go off and everybody's happy. Well, guys, it's nice knowing you. Okay, okay. Oh, how precious. It's a heart. That's so lovely. Oh, that, my friend, commences the ending credits. I'm not gonna read these names because that's so cliche, not original. Like, I'm not gonna read off, like, Hideki Kano, Kono, or Katsuya Eguchi, or Toshiheko Nakako, Kago, or Toshio Iwawaki, or anybody like that. That's just dumb. So, yeah, uh huh. And now we get this lovely, nice, very theme, and I don't know why the screen keeps on flashing, or you'll see that or not, but that's pretty annoying. Let's see if we'll do it again. Just waiting for it to... The background's change. Oh, yep, it flashes, like, right before it switches. That's so weird. Koji Kondo! Yeah! Best guy in the world. Music composer at this. Koji Kondo. Pretty sweet. This is pretty much, like, making all of those songs and stuff. Pretty awesome. So, we started off with a um, emulator on a console, and then on an emulator on a computer, which is more disgraceful because there are save scenes. You know, ridiculous. Screen didn't flash that time, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, uh, I kind of built there, I'm sorry. <laughs> that jazzy chord. Yay, and all our colored Yoshis are here. The end is, kids, don't be racist. It's just not cool. And that's the end. Three on one side. And <gasps> Whoa! That is awesome. That's how there's only one green one. That one's fast, y'all. I think it's supposed to be like all those Star Worlds, I think. And now we're going polka style, and here are all the enemies. Fish and Makitu and Makitu and Bob and all oh, that's all that great stuff. This enemy's amazing flying hammer brother. I hate you to death. It's charging chucks, it's chucks, volcano lotus. God. It's amazing flying hammer brother. Sumo brother, remember that? Monty Mole, Pokies, and Bolt Bells. I remember for a while out there, I actually forgot what a Pokey was. I forgot what it was called. I remember seeing them so much. Oh, the Bonsai Bill, Rex, Mega Mole. I mean, these aren't any areas of levels or anything, they're just grouping it all together. Dino Rhino, Dino Torch, and all those Koopas. Yep. Those are the enemies of the game, and it's still continuing. It doesn't show all of them, though, I'm pretty sure. Spike Top, Buzz Beetle, Swoopers, and Blarg with two Gs. I always remember Blarg because he looks so stupid. <laughs> Torpedo Ted, and there's Bullet Bill. As well. Rip Van Fish. Yep. And Porky Puffer. Lurchin or Urchin or something. So there's no Big Bertha, as I said in one episode. It's just that. Fishing Boo. Only used one time ever. There's the Big Boo, the Eeries. Yeah, I remember everybody calls them like kind of other boos, but I'm, I know they're Eeries. Dry Bones, Little Sparky, Bony Beetle. And spiky and Bony. Thwomp and Thwimp. I love Thwimp like, because it's like Womp and then Wimp. Ball and chain, fishbone. These are really important enemies. You can use the fish. The spiky ball. That you know, circle thing. Resnor, yeah. Oh, guess what? Ready for a key change? Do 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 do. Yeah. Yep, Mega Koopas we just saw. I don't know if they put ninjis or not, but that was one of them in the end. And there you go. 
we got Roy, Wendy, Larry, Ludwig, Iggy, Kent, Lenny, and Morton, or I think that was that. Whatever. That wasn't in any order, either. I guess so, guys. That's the end of Let's Play Super Mario World. Actually, it's not. Mm -hmm. Forget if you could press anything. Um, I forget. Can you? Uh, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, I forget. I guess not. Is there a wedding? You know, I always do this, but I'm kind of actually worried because we we'll speed it up. Pressing the speed up button. It's not, nothing's happening. So this is where you normally, like, turn it off or reset it, but I don't know if they save it or not. I mean, they would have saved it after the seventh one, yeah. So, um, that's the end of the normal playthrough. How are we done? We still have a bonus episode. A bonus, I guess I'll put it as bonus, because, yeah, it's the last two. Hopefully it should be in one episode, so, see you guys. So, okay, <laughs> we're going to do something outrageously funky, guys. It is going to be insane. We're going to need all the help we can get. All of our buddies here with us. Yes, that's right. We're going to do the last two levels of the game that I've done in this order. Because, you know, hey, may maybe the last two levels could have been, like, one level in World 6. Like, that secret one in World 6. And then maybe that first level, because like, you didn't get the L switch. You never know. And that's not the point right now. The point is, we're about to do what we do best, and that's play Mario, and I'm gonna suck at what I do best. Basically, that's that's the name of the game. Oh, outrageous. It is surely outrageous. You know what, guys? I'm just gonna save state, because in case if I lose anything, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna save state. Just, and this is what I do. I just, you know, do that. I go, save state, are you okay to save state? Yes, and I'm gonna press... Exit, you know, save that state. We're ready. Um, you can do your cape through all this, or you can do other stuff, but, yeah. Okay, you're going to want this thing here. Okay, I don't need Yoshi. Okay, just trying to be as careful as I can. Oh, well, there's another one right here. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> let's, just, let's just get the hell out of here. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna be super careful. So we're at the end of the level. Well, we're not anywhere near the end of the level, but yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I thought you had to bullet hop. And that actually would have made the level a lot easier. However, since I've lost all of my power-ups... It's still not going to be that easy. Okay. So let's just try to do this. None of these pipes you can really go down. Okay, this is like my least favorite part. Oh, oh, holy shoot, man. Dude, don't kill me now. Another Yoshi. Oh, one up. Oh my god. Because Yoshi's already still there. Okay. i to be as careful as I can. It's near the end is where it gets really tricky. I'm pretty sure there's nothing in there. No, okay, there is. Okay. I'm actually glad I went here. However, I might not be so glad because... Oh my god, thank god for slowdown, man. I tell you. Oh, thank god for slowdown. Okay, we're at the end. Kinda don't. Oh! Oh! <laughs> One try, man. My first try. Woo! So now we can clarify that Mondo is the most difficult level of the entire game, basically. <laughs> wow. And there we go. It's outrageously funky. What do you know? Um, this is the final level of the game. And then Super Mario World will be to an end. However, 
there's still much more after this that is like this. Okay, now, this is, like, crazy. Unless you have something that will help you get up here, there's pretty much no way that I know of that you can get that. That you can get that Yoshi. Like, I just have no idea how you can get up there. Like, out of cape or something. I'll try to get this guy off. There we go, we got him off. Okay, yeah, this level is, like, it's weird because it's not that difficult. I hate you. Good guy. Thank you. Thank you! Um, I think you do need this P-switch here. You have to get a running jump here. No! Oh! No! I died! I died on freaking funky! Oh my god! <laughs> he didn't jump. That's so funny. I died on funky. Like, that is not cool. Oh wow, I almost got hurt, actually. <laughs> I died on funky, but not on not on outrageous. I pretty much like died on every other level, except um, like the yeah okay. I didn't die on outrageous, but I didn't die on one of them. Get which one it was. It was like it was like that one with all the platforms. It was pretty easy though. But yeah, there's only like two of them, other than outrageous that I didn't die on. It is pretty ironic. Yeah, you need a mushroom, pretty much. If you don't have a mushroom, you're just kind of screwed right there. Okay, now, pretty much at this part, I think you could just run to the end. You're kind of going to want to anyway, because, um, you don't have very much, a lot, whole lot of time. Oh, screw you, dude. Okay, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, don't need that. Don't want it. Don't want anything to do with it. Under this part. Watch, there's gonna be these Koopas, yep. I wanna be careful about them. Ah, oh my god. Stop flooding the screen with these guys. Oh my god, I'm at the end. I'm at the end! Okay, I think this is it. Beat this with a cape, just like how this game was intended to be played with. Okay, that's a one-up. I don't really care about one-ups. Okay, we're gonna play- Oh my god, we still got the cape! Sweet! Guess what, guys? You. Are. A. Super. Player. Yeah! Yes! 30 minutes, right on the clock. 30 minutes. I know, I'm just so excited. But, as much as I've been recording this, it's been- It was exactly 30 minutes. Guess what, guys? Okay, I don't know if there's... Oh, whoa, whoa! Look at this! This is pretty weird. Now... Okay, so I'm at home. Yeah, this is all the same stuff. Everything is same. Except the overworld colors. And, okay, I don't think that's actually the best level to demonstrate it, though. There's a different level. I'm not, I'm not sure which one I want to demonstrate it, though. On. Pretty much on the title screen is, like, a good one to demonstrate it. But, okay, you know what? Not a very good level to demonstrate it on. I'll probably just go back to the Star World. But yeah, so there you go. Um, and you can all replay those without having... You could you could have done the L and R trick. That's apparently a trick you can do. If, like, if you already beat a castle, you just press L and R. And apparently it works. Which actually, I didn't know that until very recently. But I'm going to go to that one title screen level, and I'll show you. Because that's a pretty good level to show it on. Was it this one? Yeah, it's groovy. So first, you look, and you're like, what the heck? Their shells are totally changed. Just completely changed. Koopas aren't different, but the, the shells have changed. And some of the other enemies have changed. Wait, what? Okay, the Pokés should have changed. Uh, something's wrong here. The Pokés should have changed. There's something wrong. Uh, this is weird. The Pokies should have changed. Um, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just don't know what just happened right now. The Pokies should have changed. Well, specific enemies, like, also bullet bills have changed and stuff. So, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to save, but the best place I know where to save... I'm just gonna speed this up. 
right here in this house. I'm going to save and then reset it, because I want to save, though. It's in the actual game itself. So I just want to refresh your memory, guys. This is, uh, this is this secret right here. Oh my god, this like this is so unscripted. <laughs> well, of course it's unscripted, but it's like this ending was just so unplanned. Let's get another bonus game, guys, yeah! Okay, so all I want to do that for is just save, and I'm going to reset. And we're going to see through the ending, it should, I mean through the credits, should be different. It's not? Why is it not different? All of these guys should be different. Yeah, you see the 96? You see that little star thing there? Is this only in, like, the Game Boy version? Have I... Maybe I have never gotten it on this one. Seriously? I'm inexperienced with this. Wow. I thought more stuff changed. Maybe that's different. Because I remember the Game Boy version. There's the cutscene as well. But I mean, that did, I, I thought, like, okay, that doesn't really matter, but yeah, apparently not as much stuff has changed here. So, D-pad. So, you can see the different colors and stuff. Yeah, some of the enemies have changed, but apparently not as much as I thought would have. Like, the Pokies didn't change. Like, I, I thought they'd be, like, these gray and they'd be squares instead of, like, circles. You know, so you can see all the different colors. That looks all weird and different. What? So cool. But yeah, um, we just 100 percent the game. Yep, you know, all those chocolate areas are like mint chocolate instead of just normal brown chocolate. Like right over here. You know? So. Guess that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's like, there you go. Uh. Just show you all the places. I don't think the special world has really changed at all. I remember also in the Game Boy version in the special world, um. What happened is, like, they, they you know, keep track of every level in the special world, and they'll, they'll keep track of your score in that level. You know, like, there'd be a little score counter at the bottom, like, of your high score and your current score. You know, so, going to way cool. And, yeah, like, there, there would be a counter at the bottom. But, I mean, yeah, so there you go, guys. I'm just gonna end it right back at the beginning, and, uh, well, thanks to everybody for watching. Another LP has ended. Finally, <laughs> like, I can't remember the last time I've ended an LP, like, it's been forever. Freaking, this is the only other one I've ever ended. I mean, unless you don't count, unless you kind of link to the past, but that was such a long time ago. Super Mario Sunshine, like, Jesus Christ, that was forever. Yep, well, that's it, everybody. That's South Nintendo Park, signing off. <laughs>